"'Twas the night before Christmas in the province du Fremenic, "'where northbound travellers rest before visiting Saint Nick, "'stocking themselves with cheer and, more importantly, liquor. "'Our story begins just outside Relica. "'Merry Christmas, Rakal!' <laughs> Did you vote no? Yeah, on all three of my accounts. Then how did it pass? I'm about to say a slur. Something's off, but it's hard to put my finger on what. But there was no reason at all for Rakal to be suspicious, for the only spell cast was the magic of Christmas. And as our hero enjoyed his well-earned night of rest, he did so knowing that he had completed his quest. Hey, you okay, Recall? How many eggnogs have you had? I can hear a narrator. All right, let's take that away from you. Have we met before? We've not. I'm Tangled, an ultimate Iron Man that can't talk to NPCs. That's your restriction? Jeez. And I was like, girl, are you a basilisk tonight? Because I can feel myself turning. It has its moments. I'm Levi Bowiem, hardcore Iron Man. I take bad advice for my comments. You should have... Uh... Kill his spory with throne axes! <laughs> you should kill- Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna write that down. Oh, I understand now. Nothing makes sense here. A bunch of Fremenic civilians are in my house. If you guys are Iron Men, you can't attend house parties either. Right back at you. And you two, you're not even real. You're just characters I created to personify the ever-present danger of playing an ultimate Iron Man in the wilderness. Oh, don't forget it's not Christmas. What was that? It's not Christmas! I'm- Sorry, I must have misheard you. What, what? One more time, please? She's right. It's not Christmas. Not even close. Bro, it's June 25th, exactly six months away from Christmas. You couldn't have picked a further date if you tried. That guy who takes immense amounts of bad advice is right. I can't believe you even think it could possibly be Christmas. I mean, it's six months away from Christmas, you know. So, we'll stop being trying to need to talk to Alice. If you want Alice, you should unlock yourself to drama, but you already need to know what happened. Get up, Nicole. You have a war to win. Welcome back. Last video, we unlocked construction and got all the skill requirements we need for the Fremenic Isles. Oh, excuse my messy inventory. We also got this elite clue from a bird's nest, and I'm gonna give it a try. I'm buying a maple shortbow just in case it's an armadil guard. I got rid of the green dragonhide chaps I got a few episodes ago, and that's because yakhide pants actually have a higher range bonus, which is kind of weird, because the top doesn't have any range bonus. Of course I go and get the bow and it's a bandos guard. Going for an elite completion might seem like a long shot, and it is, but it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. I have access to around 30 elite steps, but that's not one of them. Oh well, let's do the Fremenic Isles. I don't need most of my stuff for this quest, so I'm putting it in the bag. But I did get the Sapphire Ring from a bird's nest, so let's enchant that and use it in the final fight. Alright, looking nice and clean. The Fremenic Isles. We've already started this quest, so here's a quick recap. Two islands, two kings. They're cousins. Trolls are coming. I fed a cat. The next thing to do is spying on Nate does not, so it's time to grab the classic jester's outfit. The hat's pointy, the boots are booty, the tights are tight, and the top is top. It's top. Top. I look good. Now we're meeting our contact on the inside. Free stuff, please. That's our password. It's actually all they trained me to say. Now I'm going to try to blow both of our covers. I'd like to remind you that my only qualification is that I once fed a cat. All right, we're infiltrating. Gathering information. Yeah, I'm not going to visit the bank, though. A fool. The burger enjoys watching a fool. Are you a fool? Ha ha. Are you a fool? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. It can't be that easy. It's that easy. When do we assault the caves? I can be ready in two days. My recruits are almost ready. Want to play Magic the Gathering? How many militia have you trained? What about the two bridges? We need repaired. Mom, I'm hungry. Here's your information, buddy. 
Let's go. And we have some more instructions from Big Daddy. <sighs> Maybe he's just paying us to go along with this. We now have to befriend the burger as ourselves, as not a jester. Hello, person I am meeting for the very first time. No, of course I'm not the jester you just met. I'm a Fremenic. Don't worry about my shirt. It's, it's very... Top. Yes, the trolls fear me, especially Big Daddy. I mean, the other Big Daddy. I mean, the only Big Daddy. What other Big Daddy would there be? Alright, he trusts me completely. He's put me in charge of repairing the bridges, so I need eight ropes. And they have to be made here on Nata's Knot, because Nata's Knot ropes are the best. Real men use Nata's Knot yak rope. I need to make it myself. Oh, hey, Sigmund, how's it going? Eight ropes. Let's go. Next up, we need eight split arctic pine logs. This is what we got that woodcutting level for. Eight logs. Now we repair the bridges. Bridge number one. Bridge number two. What are you looking at? Oh, please don't stack me out here. Oh, we're fine. Bridges are fixed. And now we get to hear all about the plans. Just a reminder, we're still spying, technically. But first... We must defeat the Troll King. Are you trying to tell me this entire time you haven't been trying to invade Yatazo? I don't know if I can go back. I've been undercover far too long. Sup, King? They just announced bridges? Uh, never heard of him. Oh god, he's going crazy. He's making us collect taxes now. Gimme all you got. My thieving level is 16. Is this where all the money they gave me came from? I don't feel good about this. This is legalized robbery and these people are starving. Well, I'm taking this into my own hands. I'm supporting you the only way I know how. I collected all the taxes, but he still wants more, so I guess we're taxing beards now. Nobody look at me. Nobody look at my face. I'm sorry. This is a very taxing day for me, too. Groan? What? I thought you guys on Yatazo love dad jokes. All right, no remorse. Give me your money. Everything you got. I want it all. Put it in the bag. Please know I have a wife and seven kids. That's my new excuse for everything. We finally have enough money, which means it's time to go spy on Nata's Knot some more. This time to figure out who repaired those bridges. What a mystery this will be. Also, I have a feeling I'm gonna need some nails. Don't mind me. Hey, this gesture's not bad. <sighs> we have one more task. Secure the doors. This guy's really going, isn't he? Alright, we're geared up. I want a cape. Now we're geared up. Let's grab an attack potion and fill our inventory with food. Okay, now we're geared up. Ow, I don't like this. Please, I have a wife and seven kids. Easy. We gotta kill ten of these guys and then we can go fight the boss. That's a lot of rocks. And I can't prayer flick. Oh god, ow. The magic of Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. That's enough trolls, it's now time to fight the Troll King. But first, we gotta open our presents. We got three prayer pots, we got a strength pot, and we got some tuna. Merry Christmas, Bork. Grrrg. Yeah, 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 get over here. Whoops, there goes my recoil. I was wearing it on the trip over here. Shouldn't have done that. I do have to use a dose of prayer pot here. I want to save these for something fun. I'm not sure what yet, but it's fine. I still have 11 doses. The Troll King has been defeated. And we're out of here. 13, my armor suddenly stopped working. Hello there. Merry Christmas, King Burogar. I got you this head. Oh, he got me a Helm of Nata's Knot. That's just what I wanted. Quest completed. And that's 54 defense, 47 crafting, and 43 construction. I'm one level short from wearing the helmet though. This is taking too long, and I'm impatient. I did get this hammer, though. We'll get that level at some point. It's time to turn our focus towards the requirements of Lunar Diplomacy. 
I know, we just finished the Fremenic Isles, but the Lunar Spellbook is such an insane unlock for this account, and I just want it so badly. Plus, it's the holidays, so we will have to take an exception for the quest prerequisites, but let's take a look at the skills we still need to get. The three skill requirements we have left for Lunar Diplomacy are 65 Magic, 60 Mining, and 61 Crafting. It's always crafting. But this time, I have a plan. And that plan involves magic. I just need 55 magic for High Elks, and I should be able to go for both the crafting level and the magic level at the same time. But I'm getting ahead of myself, 55 first. Hello? What's up, man? I'm just buying some runes. Do I make YouTube videos? I do not, but I will eventually. That was kind of weird. All right, that's a lot of runes. 52 magic, I can now boost for High Elk. And that's 55 defense, we can now wear the Nezi Helm, which means it's time to finally say goodbye to the Zerker. And with the other items elked, we're back up to 100k. Merry Christmas, Ask Aladdin. thanks for the rock. I still have a fair number of casts to go for 55 magic, and there's something I really want to kill, and that's giant rock crabs. The rock shell armor set has pretty much identical stats as rune, and each piece has a 1 in 64 drop rate. But best of all, the full set can be stored in the costume room, so it's definitely something I want eventually, even if I don't complete it right now. Giant rock crabs are one of the few monsters in this game that retreat from you when they're low. I'm sure this won't be annoying. What? I wasn't even near you! Ooh, give me that pie. And a black plate body. That's not bad. There's a piece of Dagonoth hide. I'm gonna need some of this to actually make the armor. That probably wasn't worth all of my health, but I guess we'll try to flick these now. Ooh, which one is this? Ah, oh, these are the legs. Nice. 53 magic. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up a little bit. Second piece of Dagonoth hide. We'll make the legs right after this trip. That, is that the same one? No, that's new. Oh, that's the plate body, sweet. Nothing else from that trip, but we can talk to our good friend Skulgrimmon, the helmet store owner, and ask for some powerful leg armor. 7,500 coins. Uh, yes. There we go. Why are we speaking in caps lock? I don't even know what I'm saying yes to now. I'm so tanky. My magic accuracy is suffering though. I'm probably gonna have to take some of the armor off while killing the crabs. I don't know how I messed up this ratio so badly, but I'm pretty much out of mind runes. Gonna have to make another trip to Mage Arena. That should be enough. Actually, while I'm out here, I'm gonna do a trip of bones. It's been a while. That's 47. And 48 prayer. 54 magic, back to crabs. And that's 55 magic, we now have high elks. I'm just going to use the rest of the mind runes, and then we're off to crafting training. Or we could just call it there. I'm fine with that too. Oh, is it dangerous down there? Crabs are stupid anyway. We got two pieces of armor. I call that a success. I've tried several different crafting methods on this account, and I think I finally found one that doesn't suck. And it all revolves around this woman, whose name I will not pronounce. You see, Miss Gastrohead here sells cured yak hide, and I want it all. Yak hide pants is my crafting method of choice, at blazing fast speeds of 16k XP per hour. Okay, I know that sounds terrible, but I also get a free 32k magic XP on top of that from alking the pants, so I'm training two skills at once, and I need them both for lunar diplomacy. That's level 50 crafting and 59 magic. I'm not done, I'm just out of runes. But also, this is a 14 hour grind, I'm not doing it all at once. There's the entire cash stack into law runes. I can telegrab two nature runes at a time in Relica, so this actually lets me turn a nice profit. And while I'm here, once again, I'm just gonna bring the rest of these bones to the chaos altar. If I die and lose some, it's not the biggest deal. I have protection prayers, so whatever levels I get out of this are just a bonus at this point. 49 prayer. 50 prayer, 51 prayer. You know, I have so few bones remaining, I'm just gonna go for it. 52, 
and almost 50 through prayer. We actually lived. You know, thinking about it, I don't think we died a single time at the Chaos Altar. The closest anyone got was actually that guy kicking me on a free-to-play world. Truly a Christmas miracle. My main died like eight times, but I'm fine with that. Level 60 magic. Telegram and some runes. That's the level for, well, it's not on here, but that's the level for Majorina 1. That should be enough gnats for right now. Also, I have a new name. I decided to change it because, uh... Hey, UIM1116. What, was UIM1 through 1115 taken? <laughs> Got him. When I created this account a month or so ago, I just wanted to play it. I didn't really put much thought into the name. For the change, I had a whole bunch of ideas, but in the end I just went with the simplest option. Anyway, back to pants. It happened again. Actually, this time wasn't so much stupidity as it was tragedy. But I had some time to think during this walk of shame. I think these moments, you know, I, I, looking back, they're a little funny. I don't think the purity, if you want to call it that, of the account is in question, but I'd like to do my best to avoid these kind of mistakes in the future. I also consulted the clan chat I was in, and that went pretty much as expected. Now, how do we stop this from happening in the future? Well, we can either be careful, or we could be excessive. So I tried making a runelight plugin. My plan was, I'll just hide the teleports I don't use, and I can keep teleport to house in there. Everything went great, and I was about three hours in when I asked myself the age-old question, is this allowed? No. Fine, I'll use this stupid built-in feature and just uncheck it whenever I go home. Fine. Back to pants. Sixty-one crafting. Get me off this island. We also blaze past our magic goal back there, and our cash stack is looking really nice. I'm going to use some of that, as well as a few oak planks to make a menagerie, just in case we get a pet, and a chapel. And this is my only altar not located in the wilderness. Or in a God Wars dungeon boss room. This also means we only have one skill requirement left for lunar diplomacy, and that's mining. That's a rune pickaxe from the store in Keldegrim. And it's time to do some mining. Wait, stop it for a second. Oh, that looks uncomfortable. You can keep mining, just zoom in on the level of message for me. A, a little to the right. Huh. That's weird. Let me quickly fix that. There we go. Please continue. That's 60 mining, and every level we need for Lunar Diplomacy. But I'm gonna get one more, and that's 49 construction. And I'm gonna make a magic wardrobe, so I can store the Lunar robes I get from the quest. Man, I can't believe I was able to squeeze 50 hours of gameplay into one Christmas day. You know what? Why stop there? We still got plenty of time. We have the stats for Mage Arena, we could also go do the quests for Lunar Diplomacy, and then after that we have the Lunar Spellbook, we could... What was that? Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm- Nicole, this is an intervention. It's not Christmas anymore. What the, Are we gonna gloss over the fact that you knocked on a portal? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Nicole, we need to get this Christmas delusion out of your head. We've been watching you for some time now. We even sent someone back in time to talk to you. Man, time travel was such a good idea. It's so practical. Okay, sure, maybe it's not Christmas where you're from, or when you're from. But for me, time of recording, it's Christmas. It's not, though. Nope. It really isn't. Okay. Then when are we? 
It's February. I believe there's something you have to do. My God. You're right. Get out of my house. I can't believe it. I completely lost track of time. But Rakor didn't listen. Wait, what? What do you mean I didn't listen? Who are you anyway? I'm the ghost of Christmas 2018. Ooh. All right. It has been almost a month and a half and I haven't started episode one. I've decided to cut myself off. No more playing on the account till I make a video. That's a promise. Welcome to the North. Here we are in Relica. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. My name is Recall. And the game's necklace has been acquired. The wilderness has been unlocked. Oh my god, I got it. I got it twice. That's a lot of battle staff. The Troll King has been defeated. Every level we need for Lunar Diplomacy. That's a promise.